You can find quality high school basketball programs all across this great country of ours. But you'll be hard pressed to find many states as competitive as New Jersey. There are a number of schools in the Garden State that have been producing NBA prospects for decades. Located near Newark, Roselle Catholic's basketball program is one of the latest to emerge over the last few years. Roselle Catholic's a school that's been a great academic institution for well over 50 years and the boys basketball program really took off within the last six or seven years. Uh, we've been blessed to have a lot of great players and the competition in New Jersey, I'll put it up against any place in the country. You know, we've had some coaches in the gym, they look at our team and they ask me, you know, how could you ever lose a game? And I said, the problem is there's four other teams in the state of New Jersey that look just like this. Nasrian Reed grew up about an hour away from Roselle in Neptune City, New Jersey but he knew he wanted to play high school basketball in this competitive area. I feel like Roosevelt Catholic's a great school. You know, they had a great pro basketball program, and I felt, uh, I felt as though I wanted to be a part of it, and, and I came to the school, and even the school was even a great atmosphere to be, and to be in, so that's why I decided to join Roosevelt Catholic. I, I met Nazi in seventh grade. It was the first time I ever saw him play uh, down at Hoop Group in Neptune, which is right near his his house uh, down the shore in New Jersey and you know he took a liking to our program because we were having some success at that time. We were lucky enough to have him decide to go here uh, his freshman year and uh, it's been great to have him. It's great because I, you know, it's, there's not a lot of teams that continue to win years and years going forward so it's a great feeling and I'm, I'm not really a loser so I, it's, I'm not used to losing so I'm, I'd rather be here anyway. At almost seven feet tall, Nas may get labeled as a center, but there's some versatility in his game that you may not expect. He's really a unique kid. Nas has a unique skill set. 6'11", 260 pounds, can handle the ball like a guard, shoots it well from three, but then can still go down in the post and score down there like he used to when he was younger and hadn't really expanded his game the way that he has over the last couple years. So uh, he's so versatile, makes him a tough matchup and, and really uh, is fun for us to coach him because there's so many different ways we can use him. The big phrase right now is the positionless basketball. So the game's really moved towards this positionless basketball um, game and you know Nazi fits that. You know I mean you could play him at center, you could play him at point guard, you could play him pretty much anywhere in between. I'm kind of a pass first. Uh, if I score if I have to of course but pass first. Um, I'm very unselfish and most likely try to be a leader as, as much as I can. Nas may be one of the best players in the nation, but he's first out to prove that he's the best player in his own state, and that's no small task. The list of New Jersey Players of the Year is full of NBA stars like Carl Anthony Towns, Michael Kidd Gilchrist, and Kyrie Irving. The competition for the award will be tough once again this year, and Nas would be honored if his name was added to that prestigious list. It would mean a lot. Um, just, just winning something that you never had the opportunity to win in previous times would be like, it would be like a, a great goal for me. Certainly in recent memory, you know, the guys that have won New Jersey State Player of the Year have gone on to have tremendous college careers, and the majority of those guys are playing in the NBA right now, so no doubt in my mind that Nazi's one of the best players in the country. You know, I think he's worked over the last couple of years about being consistent in terms of the different things that he does, and I think uh, this year we're going to see the best version of him that we've seen and we've already seen him do some amazing things, so I think when he puts it all together this year, his senior year, I think it's gonna be really special. Next year, look for Nas in the SEC as he signed with the LSU Tigers for what could be his lone college basketball season before he heads to the pros. I just felt like I can grow along with the program and I was able to feel home even when I wasn't home, of course. It's just beautiful. It's I just feel like it's home and a place for me to be. And I've spent a lot of time talking to the LSU coaches since Nazi decided to go there about what they, they think he can be there and they, they really think that they're going to use him similar to the way that we use him, which is allow him to show off uh, you know, all of his different uh, skill sets. While he knows it's still a long way to the top, Nas isn't selling himself short when he talks about his long-term goals. My main goal is to be a Hall of Famer in the NBA. That's the main goal. But um, there's obviously other goals I have, to get, I have to get to before getting there. So um, hopefully, you know, win a NCAA tournament and then get to the NBA and then become a Hall of Famer. I think the, the, the key thing about Nazi is, you know, he's just grown so much since the day he walked through the door. I mean, you know, it's a young man who, uh, you know, like I said, came here and 
you know, really has grown both on and off the court. I mean, that's probably the thing that I'm the most proud of with him is just his development as a, as a young man from, you know, the kid I met as a seventh, eighth grader to the kid I'm looking at now as, you know, a, a soon to be high school graduate. That growth has been tremendous.